Sure, why not? It's the uh, Table of the Elements song by Tom Lira. The preface to this, of course, uh, because it's more fun with the, with the prefacing story, is that uh, in grade 8 science class, my science teacher uh, played this for the class and said that if any student could go home and memorize it and come back and perform it for the class, they would be given an automatic A for the term. And uh, so I did that. I went home and I memorized it and I, uh, a couple days before the end of the third term, so I waited until the beginning of the fourth term, because I'm crafty like that, and I performed it for the class. And the teacher said, no one's ever done that before, but I am a man of my word and you will get an A for the course. As it happens, I was already doing quite well in the class, but it just meant I kind of slacked off and gave funny answers on tests. And I, I, I'm pretty, pretty convinced I would have done fairly well anyway, but they have, they, they, they since changed the rule so it, instead of it being an automatic A, it was only 20 bonus points. They have since changed uh, that again. Have they changed it again? What is it now? You can upgrade your, like, one of your tests. If you fail it, you can make it a C or something. Oh, okay. Nice. Wow. All right. I've ruined it for other people. Yes. My apologies. I yeah. You know what's weird is that our science teacher, yeah. Mr. A, yeah. his dad taught our dad science. Yeah. Kind of awesome. Weird, hey? That's a lot of science. Yeah. All right. He may be a Highlander. All right, so the element song by Tom Lira. There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and rhenium, and nickel, neodymium, neptunium, germanium, and iron, americium, ruthenium, uranium, europium, zirconium, lutinium, vanadium, and anthrum, and osmium, and acetine, and radium, and gold, protactinium, and indium, and gallium, <gasps> and iodine, and thorium, and thulium, and thallium. There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, and boron, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, bromine, lithium, beryllium, and barium. Is that interesting? Laughter. I know you would. <laughs> we're all taking. I hope you're all taking notes. There'll be a short quiz next period. There's holmium and helium and hafnium and erbium and phosphorus and francium and fluorine and terbium and manganese and mercury and molybdenum and magnesium, dysprosium and scandium and cerium and cesium, lead, praseodymium and platinum and plutonium, palladium, promethium, potassium, polonium, tantalus, tenesium, titanium, tellurium, and cadmium and calcium and chromium and curium. There's sulfur, californium, and fermium, berkelium, and also mendelinium, and stanium, nobelium, and argon, krypton, neon, radon, xenon, zinc, and rhodium, and chlorine, carbon, cobalt, copper, tungsten, tin, and sodium. These are the only ones of which the news has come to Harvard. And there may be many others, but they haven't been discovered. column of the periodic table is gold but it has a half life of like <laughs> i don't know it's like nanoseconds no it's it, it's like oh 20 God. seconds or something like, like that